chicos de Jefferson. Sleeping in the tent city was an option for Catherine and myself and Steph and Karen. <coughs> but we decided that given how tough this race was going to be, we'd rather have some comfort. So we've rented this RV at the end of stage one. Catherine and I are in last place in the Supermasters category. So, to be fair, not all of the teams are mixed teams. The top three teams in the Supermasters category are actually made up of two men, so it's a fairly competitive category, all things considered. So hopefully today's stage is going to be a little less demanding than yesterday's stage. Probably nowhere near as much hike a bike. Another 80 kilometer day, another eight hour cutoff. A lot less climbing today than there was yesterday. So we'll keep our fingers crossed, see how things go. No, I don't think so. We're about 15 minutes away. We are, from yeah. Stage two starting. How are you feeling this morning? It'll be a challenge. I have to keep saying it's all part of the adventure, my usual saying. I mean, yesterday was a really, really hard day for me. Yeah, we'll see. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna go at the back. I'm just gonna take it easy. That's all I can do. I think today will be an easier day. I hope for Catherine's sake it's going to be an easier day. Um, yesterday was definitely a challenge. So looking forward to feeling a little more confident by the end of this run. Okay, here we go. Stage two. So this is a big loop today. We're finishing right where we started uh, and we're starting on some we cross-country ski trails. At this point, we are literally the last two people on the course. We are at the absolute back end. But that's okay, I think at this point, it's really just all about finishing. Why are you told us to stop at a bridge and take pictures? Am I in your way? No. They've got the weirdest sand around this area. It's like talcum powder. This is what I mean by talcum powder. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's smoke from a fire 
We were told yesterday during the safety briefing that there was a fire in the area. So hopefully it won't impact us too much. Yeah, you can see the fire burning just here. You can sure smell the smoke in the air. So I don't know if I've said this, but last year's Trans Rockies Gravel Royale got canceled because of COVID. And so this amazing 400 kilometer plus multi-stage gravel race didn't actually happen. So I think a lot of people were pretty excited about this year's event as the inaugural Gravel Royale. It's been a nice start to stage two. We're taking it relatively easy given yesterday's stage. They were saying that stage two of the Trans Rockies Gravel Royale was going to be scenic, but that doesn't even begin to say just how beautiful it is. Okay, so just passing through checkpoint one. I could tell you how far in we are and how long we've been riding but my Wahoo mount broke yesterday I have no stats I feel like we're riding a little bit better than we did yesterday so I'm hoping the eight hour cutoff for today's 80 kilometer stage shouldn't be too much of a problem Okay, how are you feeling? The Rockies really are amazing. And that's what the Trans Rockies Gravel Royale has to offer. Lots of Rockies. We were told to be on the lookout for bears today. And this is definitely bear country, inc including grizzly bears. Hopefully we don't see any.
So I think we've come to the top of this pass, which is good. Hopefully now a little bit of downhill. It's definitely a little cooler than it was yesterday, which is nice. Yesterday was a hot day, especially once we came down off that big, big climb. I think we might be getting our feet wet here. Okay, so we've crested the top of the pass. The big climb for today. And now we are on some single track. Not me? Yeah. This is definitely not Catherine's favorite. So some of these trails really, by some estimates, I think would be considered mountain bike trails, but certainly our specialized diverges seem to be doing pretty well on this terrain. No complaints. Hi, it's being a little dangerous. Okay, so we are about 36 kilometers in and about three hours. So we're sort of halfway there. We're up the pass though. Yeah. We're up and down the pass. So that was the part I was most trepidatious about. Well, I'm feeling better now that we're over the other side of the pass. The adventure side of the mountain. Sauna in here with all the whipping with the branches. You've been riding through this huh? oh. jungle for oh. several kilometers oh. now. Don't know how much more of this we have to ride. Oh. I'd like to see the pros ride that one. <laughs> A nutritional supplement right there. Even though the organizers of the Trans Rockies Gravel Royale suggested, I think, 750 or 700 C wheels, I sure am glad that we have the uh, Mavic 650B and Zips 650B wheels so that we can get uh, bigger 47 mil tires on our wheels because boy, some of this terrain is pretty rough. <laughs> Okay, we're just under 40 kilometers in. Not sure about time, but this descent has been slow and technical. Completely. Oh! Came the back of the chain and all around the crank. Oh, oh no. I thought I wasn't gonna get it out. So it looks as though we're off the uh, jungle single track and we're uh, back onto some, hopefully some nice gravel road. 
Okay, so we are about 45 kilometers in and four hours, almost four hours. So I think we'll be okay. We'll make the eight hour cut off, but uh, we won't be setting any records. Uh-oh, a little bit of an obstruction in the, uh, in the road. Going along at a fairly good clip here, so the kilometers are ticking away. Ooh. So this is the last checkpoint before the finish. I've run out of fluid, so I'm gonna fill up here. So we are 67 kilometers in and five hours and 12 minutes. So I think we've got about another 16 kilometers to go. So we will get in comfortably before the eight hour cutoff. It's been a, a good day, a challenging day, but boy, the scenery. Today was the day where we really got to see the Rockies. Catherine and Jeremy Sayers, Joe Caldwell, Betsy Hard. Come on in, you guys. There you go. Made it, day two. Oh my god. Okay, so ride time five hours, 18 minutes, 82 kilometers, 1410 meters of climbing. Yeah, that was another challenging day. It felt better than the first. Yeah. But boy, am I glad to get to the finish line. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stage two of the Trans Rockies Gravel Royale complete. And I'm pretty sure that we're probably still dead last in the Super Masters category. But what? at this point, that's okay. 